Hi, Dress Up Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a cinnamon roll enjoying fall. So let's get started. To draw a cute cinnamon roll, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come here and draw an oval, but it's going to be a little bit slanted. So let's come right here. So our goal is to make him look like he's looking up. So I'm going to come right here and draw an oval. Okay, and slight angle, a little turn. So I'm going to come right across, nice and wide. So say about right here, and draw the same thing. So definitely turn your paper or your body if it helps you to draw more of it at an angle. There, so something like that. And then now that we have the eyes in, let's come about right in between the eyes. And about right here, I'm going to just wobble this wide and out w shape right here for the mouth then from there let's go ahead and draw the face so like i said because it looks um we're trying to draw some row looking up the top is going to be shorter and the bottom is going to be longer so i'm going to come about right here the center of our eye i'm going to come out give myself a point about right here same thing and i'm going to draw a curve for the bottom of the face so it's going to kind of be more angled. So just keep that in mind. And I'm going to skip a little bit of the space and continue that curve. So same thing here, just skip a little bit, continue and we're going to go up and round it off and bring it down. Sorry for my mess, sketchy mess. Just to make sure I get this curve in. Okay, so something like that. And then we can bring this curve down. And for the face, so it's coming down a little bit lower. And in. So notice it's just more angled, right? Okay, so now that we have that, let's uh, let's bring this in a little bit more. And say about right there. I'm going to stop. And let's see here. Let's draw the ears, right? So I'm going to come about right here. And the ears are flopped down. So we're going to curve out. And nice and long. So say about right here. And round it off. And I'm going to come back about right here to connect it. There. And then same thing on the other side. So, same thing about right here. Curve down. And I'm going to come back to about right here. Just want to make sure I'm about the same. So I'm going to make, look at my camera and about right there. There. So I got my two long floppy ears in. Then from there, let's come back into the space. We're going to give Cinema Roll a scarf and the hands are going to be kind of going up. So let's come about right here. And I'm going to draw this rounded off curve right here for the hands. And same thing here. So in the center, round it off. And bring it down there. And now that we have that in, in the space in between, we're going to draw the scarf. So right here, I'm going to wobble a little bit and then continue my curve. So the reason we're wobbling right here is because we need to draw this flap of our scarf that's coming, that's being overlapped. So about right here, we're gonna stop. And about right here. And in this space, coming through. And same thing here. They're drawing a scarf. So that's why I needed this hand to be kind of big with a long because I, long curve because I need to tuck in the scarf. 
And then from there, let's go ahead. We're going to finish the body. So come in a little bit. A little curve. Kind of forcing the scarf in there with these big hands. So about right there, we're going to draw a foot. Round. And same thing here. Round. And now we can go ahead and connect a little curve. There. So hopefully, sorry if I made that complicated, but we're just trying to tuck in this scarf. And then we also need the bottom, the other part, right there. And then we can draw some of these, maybe three of them. And two on this one. And we're going to put a heart on this part of our scarf. And we're going to give it some stripes. And let's see, I think the stripes go this way on this side, right? <laughs> Hopefully. It's all up to you how you want to decorate it. But that is pretty much it for the scarf part. And then we need to draw the tail. So I'm going to come right here and draw kind of this circular shape for this big, just imagine coming around about right here and tuck it in and then a little roll right here very important tail right that's why it's called that's why this little puppy is called cinnamon roll and let's see here that is pretty much it for the drawing part of cinnamon roll now let's add some fall leaves so let's come up here and i'm just going to add three at the top falling down so right here and add one big leaf one, and maybe another one going another direction. Smaller. Down, and then one more right here. So it's all up to you. Hopefully this inspires you. Let's give the stem a little bit thicker at the top. And at the bottom, we're gonna have some on the ground. So let's say about right here. One, another one here. So notice how these are just flatter. Try to make it look like they're on the ground. And we'll maybe see. Add another one here. And last one. There. And that is pretty much it. I really hope you love this drawing and that it brings a smile to your day to see Cinnamon Row enjoying fall. Thanks so much for uh, watching. If I helped you today, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.